Welcome to the Craft Cocktail. Today we're going to create a recipe called the Bay Breeze. The Bay Breeze, classic cocktail. Classy. Great cocktail. It's an ounce and a half of vodka, four ounces of pineapple juice, an ounce and a half of cranberry juice, and a lime wedge garnish. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. All about the juices and the vodka. If you haven't noticed by now, the Craft Cocktails is a channel all about building. It's gonna be building up your experience and your knowledge, starting with the basics. We're starting with vodka, even though gin technically comes first, from a learning perspective, vodka is easier to work with. It's neutral. Mm -hmm. it, you're gonna get just the flavors of the different components within it, and it also brightens a lot of those flavors and, and brings out some of the, some of the, the kick. It tends to be very accessible to, to new right. drinkers or to the general populace. People like vodka. Yes, they, they, they happen to like vodka, and that happens to be good for us. Uh, this recipe is a descendant of the Cape Codder uh, and is an ancestor to the Sea Breeze. I think that's the right order. It, it, descend, it comes from the Cape Codder and it is the parent of the Sea Breeze, which comes later. That sounds right. The drink variations date back to the 1920s and 30s, uh, but they really kind of grew up in the 1960s. If you order a Bay Breeze before uh, or around 1955, it's going to contain gin. You can shake it and yes. strain it, or you can build it in the glass. The nice thing about shaking and straining is this has pineapple juice, and when you shake pineapple juice, it creates a nice little uh, foamy head to the yeah. drink, which is a great presentation. Yes, yeah, so the presentation and mouthfeel is going to be epic. And that's uh, when you're looking at a very simple drink and you don't have much else to go th with, you want to have you want to have something that people can talk about. And then we're a lime garnish wedge, boom. It gives a nice contrast to the color. You got your foaminess that goes all the way through and the head's gonna continue to thicken up. It kind of looks like a... Almost like a Ramos Gin Fizz in the, the way that it's a thick head. Yeah. Yeah, if that was just more white, it would just be just the same. Yeah. I th Does Ramos have a line? Ramos has a... Uh, I don't believe Ramos has anything. Huh. The, the foamy head is its own garnish in the Ramos Gin Fizz. It should have a line. We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, it's a gin cocktail, right? It is a gin um, cocktail. That that will be the first fifteen episodes are going to be vodka, and then the next ones will be gin. And this drink just looks delicious. I love I love the the fogginess there, the the foaminess. Mm. Mm. I love the the mouth feel. It also kind of distracts a little bit from that vodka. So, so smooth. It's, it's creamy. It, it I I could see how the Cape Cod is cool because it's got the tartness. This just brings additional excitement. Because that pineapple juice gives it a little tiki flavor, a yeah. little mouthfeel flavor. This mouthfeel isn't a flavor, but you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> Umame. Umame. Wow. Yeah. That, that's a flavor. but It is. It's, it's savory-ish, right? It's like an earthiness. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Um, if you go on the cocktail menus around wherever the world, depending on where you are, you might also see this as the Down Easter or Hawaiian Sea Breeze. Hmm. The pineapple juice, the Hawaiian flavor. Right, right, right. So yeah. you, can, you can get a little bit of that out of it. If you want to know more about the history, go to homecocktailmenu.com, download Series 1, which is all easy vodka cocktails. It has the Sea Breeze, the screwdriver, the Cape Codder, all the things you've seen, all the things to come. And Moscow then you can, Mule coming. Oh, the Moscow Mule. Mm -hmm. You can drink along with us and get the same excitement that we get and maybe find some new flavors we missed. Absolutely. Absolutely, that is how we suggest you make the Bay Breeze.